Going to need one of these today, all weekend long, and it looks like well into next week. This pattern of onshore winds and at times tropical downpours is back once again. Fall was nice while it lasted for three days, wasn't it? <sighs> It'll be back at some point, maybe. Come Thanksgiving or so, Mike Burrish is going to be tracking uh, these times of downpours into the weekend. It could disrupt uh, some of your weekend plans. you got Georgia, Florida Saturday. Remember, that's a 3.30 kickoff on CBS 47. And then not long after the game is over on Saturday night, uh, you're going to have hundreds of volunteers getting things ready for Sunday's Jags game as they kick off Sunday against the Houston Texans. Two one-win teams. Won't that be fun on the field at the bank on Sunday at 1 o'clock? You can watch that game on CBS 47. Warm and humid weather going to continue throughout the weekend as well. Now, the other story that we're going to have to watch for you with the weather is uh, the remnants of Ada or maybe a cousin storm system. If you've been listening closely over the last several days, Mike Burrish has been talking about this that would likely move through, uh, through the Caribbean and towards South Florida, the Florida Straits, into the weekend. And then from there, just kind of meanders, and the models are really uh, not coming into focus just yet. The upshot for us is right now there's no direct impacts through the weekend. It'll be early next week that we'll have to kind of zero back in on what the models will show us and ultimately what impacts Florida may see from whatever this tropical system really is. So make sure you're staying connected throughout the weekend, talking the tropics with Mike at WOKV.com and here on the radio in the first alert forecast. Here on Facebook, we'll continue to keep you up to date. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, listen and watch for those updates. Clearly the biggest story now is uh, the race for the White House and the ongoing vote count. By Friday morning at 5 a.m., we sent you a breaking news alert in the WOKV app when Joe Biden then went ahead of President Trump uh, by some 900 votes. That continues to climb. We have a vote count continuing in North Carolina and in Pennsylvania, Arizona, and also in Nevada. At any point, we could see President, uh, former Vice President uh, Joe Biden go over the 270 electoral votes. But as you heard President Trump say at the White House on on Thursday evening and live coverage on WOKV, he plans to fight this uh, through the courts and uh, continues to point to, without a lot of evidence, uh, issues related to fraud and rigged elections. That story is not going to go away at all as the weekend approaches, so stay connected throughout the weekend to instant updates on 104.5 FM and follow breaking news alerts in the WOKV app. Have a safe weekend. Be with us first thing Monday starting at 5 on Jacksonville's Morning News.